morning everyone and welcome to another vlog here in Key West. We're starting the morning off just down Deval Street at Starbucks. Just fancy a little Starbucks. We were out late last night, late-ish. Only till about 12. Then a mega thunderstorm rolled through about 3, 4 in the morning. It and it was amazing. like flashlight up the room. That's even with the blind shut. And then the rumble and bang was within seconds. It was right on top of us. Room was shaking and everything, wasn't it? It was really fun, yeah. It was amazing, but so that had us up in the middle of the night as well. So definitely just craving a little Starbucks to start the day. And then we've got no plans. We're going to see what happens. We might do the little train today. We might do jet skis. I really don't know. We're just going to see what happens. Uh, but first of all, it is definitely coffee time, Laura. <laughs> Let's uh, head on in. Gone for Caramel Square. Uh, and a lemon slice just to show you what that was uh, it was 21.54 in total that's for a grande caramel latte tall caramel latte lemon loaf and a marshmallow let me know if that compares to the starbucks at home at your local we just enjoy a starbucks on holiday it's just our thing some people like going to the bars some people like going and doing certain things we, we love our we just love our starbucks that's it that's our little thing, our little treat. Yeah, everyone has a bit of a holiday thing, don't they? We don't really drink, so no. this, this is our thing. It just hits differently when you're on holiday and you're in America for some reason. So it's too good, it's very addictive. Very addictive, should cut back on it really, but on holiday, I don't mind. Oh, so good, so good. The Cuban one was good yesterday, but just not quite. The same, is it? Starbucks. It was lovely. Very yeah. strong, I noticed. The Cuban one had me. I was bouncing off the walls for like two hours. It was yeah. uh, strong, that Cuban one. But nice. Definitely worth a try. You've got to try some little different things while you're out oh, and about. Yeah, we tried that nice Mexican last night. Chicken burrito with cheese. It was nice. It was a little bit beefish. I Almost like a bit of a beef gravy. I swear they put mixed meat in there, not just the chicken. I think they've done a mixed one and not just yeah. chicken. I think they've done chicken and beef, but it's still nice. Still, still enjoyed it. Yeah. And we're heading towards Mallory Square and all of that. We're just heading down Duval Street, having a nice wander. Nice temperature at this hour of the morning. By the time we get to the end of the road, I'll have had my coffee and I'll be awake. So you now join us a few hours later and we are just waiting to board the conch train. We're gonna go on the conch train with the family might jump on and off we'll see uh, and then we might do another live stream so i will leave the links to the live streams that we'll have done today here okay, we're going to jump on the train we'll film the train for you we've booked the tickets online it's a little bit cheaper to book online uh, for the conch train there is a hop on and off bus as well we're doing the train but so uh, yeah a little bit cheaper to book online We'll get one of these back to Tenerife then, Laura, that big one there. Yeah, just get a lesser passenger on the plane. <laughs> they are quite cool though. All the chicken themed stuff is everywhere. This is like a little market. You've got everything you need here. You've got Christmas decorations, key rings, all little knickknacks you can take home. So this is the Mallory Square Market. Love the, those chickens over there. I'd have one of them for the garden, quite fun. There's just all kinds in here, little souvenirs you can take away. But it is like a proper traditional little market. I'm not far from here, just the other side of where the cruise ship stops. So. You can imagine plenty of cruise passengers strolling through, but it's nice stuff though. It's not tacky stuff. It's actually quite nice souvenirs. These are quite clever. These are coasters that go in your cup holder in the cars. So say you get a nice cold drink and it's gonna get all condensation and go all in your cup holder. This sits at the bottom and it soaks all that up. It's a car coaster absorbent stone. So it just absorbs any moisture that might end up going down into the cup holder. Quite good, quite clever. Never seen those before, but nice designs. It's all nice stuff. Nice little beachy signs there. All the nice mile marker, zero Key West ornaments. Quite like this one. 
that's quite nice. And then you've got a like, big old shipwreck there. Just a lovely little market area that's very traditional and not, you know, super tourist tacky. I think it's tastefully done with everything that you might need. This is what we're going on here. It doesn't leave for another 15 minutes or so, so we're just waiting. But we're going to be going on this train and this gives you information as you go around. So as you go around, you can hop on, hop off, but it gives you all the information that you're going to need. Some of the facts of Key West, talks about the chickens, bits and bobs. I will try and record some bits for you if I can, so if there's not too much wind noise. And then just through here, you've got the Shipwreck Treasure Museum. So that's like a museum with all different shipwrecks in, pirates, uh, facts and information. And you can actually go up to the top of that tower, I think, once you've paid for access. That's open from half nine until 5 p.m. It's quite good for kids in that in there. I've been in there once on the ghost trawl, this uh, ghosts and gravestones that uh, did used to go in there for a little bit of information. So I have seen bits of it inside. It is quite, uh, quite interesting. There's Laura just chilling next to the fountain. I'm gonna cross over and have a look in here, the Shell Warehouse. This has got everything Shell related. Nice looking jewelry there, you're eyeing up Laura. Everything is all Shell related or actual shells or got shells on it, it's all Christmas stuff there. <laughs> it's all beach shell themed fish up there as well. I quite like the fish shirts are quite good if you want a wacky shirt. See some of these nautical signs at the back. If you had quite a nautical themed home you could get everything you needed in here. I do quite like all these for like your patio or outdoor, outdoor area. Life is better in Key West. And some of it's sort of generic beach stuff as well not too specific to Key West. Just finished our conch train tour. Now I'm gonna say it was a little bit expensive for what it was. $36 each with the discount online, $40 if you don't book online. And it's it's like an hour's route, but for what it is, it's a little bit pricey. A little bit pricey, do bear in mind, you, you get a lot of information on it, so much so you don't get a minute's piece. Well, you can jump on another stop day though, can you? Yeah, you can use it as basically a taxi service. So I think if you're gonna hop on and off, it might be more value to, value to you. If you're just gonna do the one train tour, it's, it's, it's gonna be pricey. If you're gonna jump on and off, then yeah. Um, don't expect like a quiet, sort of peaceful ride around on it. You get a lot of information down the speaker. Yeah, Which, yeah, if you want, it's got good info. He has a lot of fun with it. He loves yeah, he loves doing. what he's doing. He's it's good interested. information. But yeah, my head's spinning now. 
there's a you, there wasn't a minute like a piece on, was yeah. there so yeah it is it is what it is a little bit pricey for what it is in my opinion uh, we're now going to head down to the promenade bar uh, and do a live stream i think a little bit of a chill key lime pie a drink a bit of a relax just had an hour's information there i need to process so we've just come to the very famous statue which is mile marker zero this is what you see all the ornaments of and everything very very famous statue they also at the moment have a great tribute to the queen as well who uh, recently did pass away obviously so uh, we're going to queue up and get a picture there is a queue it's not as long as it was before though it has quietened down so we're going to queue up and get a picture next to this which is, it's a nice little tribute actually i will show you once we get a bit closer there's less people around it is nice the way they've done that So a lovely tribute to the Queen there, great picture on the statue, we'll include that. We're now down here at the beach, we have got a storm coming in very soon, but down here you've got volleyball, you can park here for free as well, which is nice, free parking at the beach. You can come and chill on the sunbeds, you can walk along the pier, you can fish, you can have a swim. And it's, it's a nice white sandy beach this, it's a little bit overcast and cloudy just now, but this morning it was all lovely full blue sky, sunshine. There's like a picnic area in the middle. You can bring some lunch down, have a picnic. But I like that it's free parking down here. You can come and enjoy a little walk. There's chickens on here, the seagulls, there's all kinds. Got a guy here just photographing some of the, the little baby chicks here with the mum down on the beach learning how to forage scratch around you'll reveal some insects to nibble on scratch through the seaweed you'll find some bits well we're definitely beginning going to be heading back shortly because there's definitely a storm rolling in you can really feel it with the wind picking up it's gone a bit cooler and over there as you can see the rain is falling so i do think a storm is definitely on the way so we'll be heading back soon we're going to get packed up we're going to get showered obviously we are leaving tomorrow morning i think we're going to be hitting the road early as well uh, to head, head back up to uh, orlando so we're going to get packed up make sure we're all ready have a nice shower and then we'll be heading out for dinner somewhere don't know where we're going to go tonight laura i'm not too sure no we'll have a look when we get home see what we're feeling check out the menus and stuff Maybe do some last minute shopping. There's a little Key West jewelry shop we still haven't found that we want to find where Laura got her bracelet from originally. Uh, Mum says she knows where that is. See if there's any last bits around, just enjoy the night. And then we'll be up early, I think, and hitting the road. Someone's swimming, I thought, blooming heck, they're having a good swim, and then I realized it's Scott. <laughs> Scott's enjoying a swim, here's Jude coming along the prom as well. And that cloud behind looks pretty scary. When we get this view, we know it's time for Laura's outfit of the day. So, yeah. what have we gone for tonight, Laura? A bit more of a simple look. Very casual, Bershka top, like six quid or something. Yeah. Bershka again with the skirt. Very nice. And then I've gone for my guest trainers today. I felt like they were trainees today. Very comfy so, style. Yeah, just nice and, cash. and for jewellery, I've gone again, just simple. Those nice simple studs and your little... Oh. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Little Disney uh, necklace, that one. Yeah, with me Key West bracelet. Key West bracelet, and of course. And then the Pandora's. That's it. And then oh. Disney bobble. Disney bobble. Oh, very, very casual, but classy at the same time. Not classy, but you know, it is casual. Casual look. Yeah. We are heading too hard rock with all of the family tonight yeah we're having a big family meal Gonna last night yeah here. big night and then we're up six in the morning hitting the road it has been a little bit overcast but still no Not rain yet no rain no storm yeah. so Not complaining at all. no we needed a bit of an escape from that sun didn't <laughs> yeah. we he's been piping up while we've been here
we are at Hard Rock. Now we've gone for a safe bet because we know we all like it. Laura can get her gluten free. It is a lovely traditional building, this one. My sister also wants a pin from here. And also, this is one of the bigger restaurants that's, that's going to be able to seat all of us. There is like seven of us. So yeah. some of these smaller restaurants around, they're not going to be able to seat us, all right. seven of us. So a bit of a safe bet for us. It is a bit touristy hard rock. And I know a lot of you will go, oh, you should be having the traditional fish and all of that going on. But it is what it is. We're going to go for it. It's what we enjoy. Hopefully going to like it. Yeah, Might have some form of wings. chicken, I think, maybe fajitas or something like that. Yeah have a little glimpse of the menu here of what's going on might go for a grilled chicken sandwich maybe oh i don't know i don't know there's a lot of burgers on this menu but very very traditional looking hard rock i mentioned that the other day as well yeah like a bar, and here comes the whole gang so jude is gonna pick himself a uh, hard rock pin he started early yeah. Started collecting them early, so Laura's giving him his dollars. He's counting them up, oh. seeing how much he can get. Oh, look, he's not happy. You've, You've dropped it now. <laughs> he's not happy now. So Jude's gonna find himself. Jude, you got sixteen dollars. Spend it wisely. Pick wisely. No, he's like I want a dollar to keep. Yeah. And you can have fifteen. Yeah. Jude's picked, and he picked a good one. Yeah. We didn't make. We put them all out, and he picked. He picked this one, which is quite a good one to pick, Jude, because you did do the dolphin trip here, didn't you? Yeah. So he's got a nice dolphin one. So remember your boat trip, Jude? Yeah? I like that one. How much is that? I don't know. How much is that? <laughs> 50's just about just got about enough. enough. $16. Oh, ho, ho. $16. Yeah. He likes the wrapper more yeah. than the pin. So we've all enjoyed our food-ish. Uh, my chicken sandwich was delicious. Laura struggled a little bit. Yeah. Because they then, when they brought the food, they then informed us that they no longer do gluten-free fries. Yeah. They've changed the fries, no longer gluten-free, but they waited till like they brought the plain burger on the plate. Yeah, without so the I chips. I could have maybe changed my order or not even come here. Yeah. You know. It's a bit sneaky. And then the wings, you think they've put barbecue sauce on by mistake, then took it off and put the hot sauce yeah. on. It's a bit of a barbecue after flavour. Yeah. Such a shame. Other than that, your burger's good though. It's, it's amazing that it always is. I love the burgers in here. It's just a shame that that happens. Yeah. Mum, every bit of yours has gone as well. Please. Dad down there, your fish. Please, salad. Brilliant. Mashed potato, forget the fries. Mashed potato, yeah. yeah. Scott enjoys his. I mean, we've all ate it all. Just a little bit of a shame to let you down with the chips right at the very end, though. Not when you order to say, oh, they're not gluten free anymore. No, you maybe get a different out. side or something, yeah. yeah. And then the wings, a little bit not as nice as normal. You always get them wings, so we know they're not quite as good as normal because you always get them. Always get them because I love the wings, yeah. But nothing you can do. Is, yeah. I did enjoy my chicken sandwich, it was gorgeous, though. I did enjoy that uh, grilled chicken sandwich. Had a little bit of a like, peppery flavour into it. Dead crispy bacon, like I asked for as well. So, it was, uh, no, it's been lovely. It's just just a shame to let you down last. minute. It was the last minute bit, wasn't it? Not that yeah. you didn't have them. It was the bit. Where it was like, oh, here's, here's all your food. Oh, by the way, you're not getting chips. Yeah, that was a little bit disappointing. Okay, well, good and bad here. It was all right. They did refuse to take Laura's chips off the bill uh, because they were backup fries and they can't control backup fries. Yeah. Bit of an odd way to deal with it, but that's fine. That's fine. It was, um, baby, so we'll the exactly, we'll still go back to Hard Rock. I enjoyed my food very much. Just I think they could have, if they knocked off the chips, would have been, you know, made you feel a bit just, better. They would have told me in the beginning. Yeah, that's, it's have, just a bit of, yeah. yeah, if the staff had communicated it and they didn't, so, you know, knock the backup fries off. Yeah. You um, know, you should be not having to have backup fries because you should have the normal fries. They're ready to go. Ah, <laughs> you know. uh, it's not, it's, uh, we sound like we're moaning, we're not really. It was uh, actually a very decent meal, to be fair. We're going to have a yeah, little wander down, have a mooch through some of the shops. Might grab a key lime pie, might grab some 
souvenirs or something. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, see what's in all these shops. See, see how it goes. Yeah. Here's uh, Mum and Mick there looking a bit bemused. Don't know where they're going. Look, oh, clueless. Clueless. Look at them. Doesn't know what he's doing. Come to check out the Key West bracelets. Here they all are. See, you see the prices, they are genuine in here. So you've got a few different designs, bits with gold in, bigger ones. You've got like a um, the twisted. twisted one there as well. Different design. Here's one with some colour in there as well, which is quite nice. Hi, yeah, you okay? Lovely lady in here has taken Laura's and Mum's bracelets to give them a clean. She's given them a nice free clean, which is very kind of her. You've got loads in here to check out, loads of stuff going on. Just found these, which match a necklace that you've been wearing. You'll have seen it in the vlogs, they match pretty much perfectly, which is really cool. Yeah. It's got so many nice designs. I love these colourful whale tails as well, the stingray. Uh, starfish, there's more of those whale tails there. I love the, the fishing hook as well. I just love all the nautical themed stuff. But the Key West specific stuff as well, I really like. It is Friday night and a lot of people are now out and about, very busy. All the bikers have come down for the weekend. You can tell it's gonna be a busy, busy weekend. This is Friday night early on and it's, uh, it's already got a bit of hustle and bustle about it. If you had a cruise ship stopping this weekend as well, then you're talking very busy. I'm gonna give you a really good laugh now. Me, Mum and Laura have come down for a bit of a shop. Guess where we told Dad to go? We sent Dad up to the Garden of Eden. Told him it'd be lovely up there. He completely forgot about what it was on the, on the tour. Go up, you'll enjoy it. Let's see what happens. You told me it wasn't like the man said on the train. No, I said that was the other one. Um, <laughs> See, you, you didn't like the Garden of Eden then? Not really, no. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? Why do you think it's called Garden of Eden? You're the only one with clothes on. Basically, yeah. And a shirt like this. I looked around. So you went on the second level instead, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I came down. And <laughs> oh, was there loads of people up there or what? Six or eight, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> what sort of age? My age, really. <laughs> so you fitted in then? <laughs> Weird. How much was a pint in there then? Uh, I think it was eight for a can and a little brandy. Sorry. <laughs> I, I thought it was necessary. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So we're just saying then the vibe is a little bit full on now. And we're glad we didn't come for a weekend trip. Definitely come in the weekdays in my opinion. It's less busy, but this is a little bit full on for us now. It's only quarter past eight, it's getting a little bit feisty down here. Plenty of police around, which is nice, but it's a little bit full on now. 
so we're heading back towards the hotel but just so you know if you want to come down here personally i would avoid the weekends then having a look at the sweet shop seeing if there's anything gonna jump out at us as uh, super special as i've said before americans are not amazing for their sweets they love their chocolate sweets not so much so i don't think there's anything gonna be really jumping out at us they're more into all of this stuff chocolate crispy treats oreos all of this buttercups some marshmallows there might maybe get a marshmallow laura i think laura yeah this is the same store that's in margaritaville in orlando oh god yeah i believe it is because these are exactly the same so i think these well are be. the same yeah really cool uh, art shop we're gonna get a little piece of art we're stuck between these two we don't know what to go for key west alarm clock or just the su more subtle one on the left i don't know what to go for laura it's a really tough choice it is. really tough there's so much amazing art in here so we did go for the little smaller piece of board um hand painted it was 50 dollars but I really like that, made up we got that. That's a proper authentic shop that it's not the you know the knockoff or you know mass made ones, they're all hand painted in there. So I've got my little piece of art, I'm quite happy on a nice wooden board, I like that. Was it too expensive at the place? No, it's I don't mind paying that for something handmade. So made up with that, we're heading back to the hotel now. I think we're pretty much done, aren't we, Laura? We are key wested out, bed up and back to Orlando in the morning. So we are back in the room now, all done, and that is gonna conclude our Key West trip. Yeah. Really enjoyed it, it was really good fun. Definitely come if during you can week. during the week. It's a different vibe at the weekend, maybe it's your vibe at the weekend, but just too busy for us, a bit noisy, younger crowd, a lot of motorbikes, a lot of noise, a lot of- A lot of people going out to get drunk rather than just going to have a drink. Yeah. It, we noticed in some of the bars it was just a different vibe different music playing but i would definitely recommend a visit to key west it's very very different as i've said before it feels very cuban or caribbean completely different to america completely different to orlando very different feel you've got all your water sports jet skis boat trips scuba diving snorkeling beaches hotels if you just want to sit and chill by the by the pool Beauty, massages, absolutely everything here. Everything you could ask for, yeah. It's lovely. I'd, uh, again, I'd still come back. Oh yeah, we would definitely come again. back, love it. And if you're a seafood eater, you're in for a big treat. We are not seafooders, but if you are, you're gonna be spoiled rotten with the oh, choice they've got here. Caught, locally sustained, yeah. everything like You can that, go out yeah. on your own boat, catch it and eat it that night. Uh, conch, conch is a, is a massive uh, seafood delicacy over here as well. But do let me know your thoughts. If you've been to Key West before, what was your highlight? What was your favorite part? If you haven't been here or you've never even been to America, what did you think of it? Does it look something of interest to you? Does it look weird? Does it look wacky? Does it look gorgeous? Let me know in the comments. I think you'll see, you'll get a lovely vibe from it. Everything's very traditional and old school here as well. Yeah. And same, everything's like local. The shops and the bars seem to be like local. A lot of them are local and like, the ones that were closed are like we're closed holidays until this date because September is a quiet season. Yeah. We're saying that today. So you can see with them closing, it's local businesses, small businesses owned yeah. and man by the same people. So that's nice. Yeah. Uh, one thing to note, there is quite a lot of wacky backy around, quite a lot of wacky backy smell you'll notice throughout the place. I think that is just becoming a bit more of a normal thing in America now. Yeah. Um, Personally, I don't love the smell, but I don't, you know, hate on people that do it either. I'm like, you know, a bit whatever, but you will smell it around. Uh, apparently in New York now, it's a massive thing. You can just smell it everywhere. I wouldn't say it was horrendously bad, but you will notice like patches along Duval Street. You will get whaps of it, 
but it was nothing to like put you off or anything like that. No, and because it is so normal, it's quite safe as well. Yeah. It's not like dingy, it's not like people are in the corner doing it like dingy. Yeah, doing dodgy deals or anything. There's, yeah. there's shops there for it if that's what you want to do. So it's it is quite there. safe and people, you could, I couldn't tell who was on and who wasn't. So that was a nice thing. It wasn't like, oh my God, stay away from them. They're off the faces or whatever. It was just everyone quite calm and relaxed, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So a really good vibe. I hope you did enjoy it. We're up to Orlando tomorrow, so we'll film bits of that. When we get to Orlando, we might go and do Horror Nights or something like that. Uh, but up in the air, up early, 6 a.m., we're going to hit the road to try and get a bit more quieter traffic. Uh, so we will see you tomorrow. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up, drop those comments, as I said. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There is loads to come, especially from here. Um, you'll have seen all that, the room tours and everything. But when we get back to Orlando, there's a lot on the way as well. Uh, but we've got Sarah, Scott uh, and Jude with us for the rest of the trip in Orlando. So we're going to do a few more family based things. We've got a few more accommodations to show you with a lot of uh, baby things involved for Jude. So make sure you tune in for those. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.